Hello and welcome to another Coffinated Review where we review coffee. I'm Laura. I'm Joel. And we're the Newly Deads. And we're back at the old spot. Yes. We were recording on our set for our television show, but uh, by popular demand, we're back to this format to see how it goes. So if you like it, put something Give in the comments. Thumbs up if you like just seeing our heads and our shirts. Which and our coffee. That's a good that's a good segue. Yes. If you notice our shirts are from our friends the Mad Bloods in Australia. This is the Shambled Buddha shirt that they sent us uh, that we wore around yesterday. And we actually had somebody ask us if uh, they ever toured in America. And I told Raul that of the Mad Bloods, and he said, Of course they do on the internet. <laughs> so um, if you're interested, go check out Shambled Buddha. Go check out uh, the Mad Bloods on their YouTube channel. I'll put the information here. And um Tell them that the newly dead sent you. Yeah. And the reason that we're wearing this shirt today is because we're actually going to drink coffee that they sent us all the way from Australia. Uh, we're having uh, macro whole foods. I'm going to pull up my thing here. Let me get my face out of there. Hot okay. jellies. There you go. Macro <laughs> organic ground coffee medium roast, um, which medium roasts are always my favorite. Um, it's 100% Arabica beans. Um, they were grown in the Andean Mountains in Peru. Um, oddly enough, this is a Woolworths brand. Yeah. They're kick you out of the Woolworths. They have never Woolworths seen them where they were there. Though. I don't think we have Woolworths anymore in the United States. I don't States. think so. I think they're gone. I think they moved back yeah. to Australia. So, were they from Australia to begin with? Apparently. I got to figure that out and put that information here. Yeah. Weird. Um, so... There's a bunch of reviews and stuff on here, uh -oh. but I know it's made in it's New Zealand. It's a Kiwi brand. It's made in New Zealand. Yes. What? I was just going to say that. Um, but it's farmed without the use of any synthetic pesticides. <clears throat> I found it on a bunch of websites that, you know, it's got a really good rating on overall. It looks like 4.3. looks like, um, yeah, throughout most of the internet things. Um, Proudly ranged and distributed by Woolworths. Yep. Interesting. Yep. So it's from Walworths. Um, huh, oddly enough, what this coffee? Oh, here. So we've handpicked only the best ripe coffee cherries to bring you an organic coffee that's grown in the Andean mountains in Peru, farmed without the use of synthetic pesticides. This coffee is certified fair trade, which means you're contributing to better working and living conditions for farmers, their families, and local community. Proudly arranged and distributed by Woolworths. So what are we saying about on here? Uh, I, I, I clicked on a thing that says, which supermarket has the best coffee in Australia? All, and it says Aldi. Really? Yeah. That's interesting because the coffee that we've bought at Aldi here, no offense, we love Aldi. Uh, I've not found any there that I've enjoyed that much so far. Um, we haven't tried them all, though. We haven't tried them all, but everyone I've gotten there has been mediocre at best. But we love all their other products. Yeah. Like their Aldi is one of our favorite places to go. We're going there for today. shopping. Um, so I'm going to move this out of the way so we can drink the coffee. Today, Joel gave us the uh, Happy <clears throat> Wife, Happy Hubby mugs. I needed something to wash this morning that was quick and easy that I could do in the dishwasher and overnight. It's big. And it's large and it's it's in charge. Well, it's first mug that we had together. As husband and wife. So. I, I was telling Joel before we started that uh, the bag of coffee is like the perfect scent of coffee that I usually like. It's like that um, aromatic but not heavy um, roasted smell. It's like it is definitely a medium kind of smell. Yeah. I don't want to sneeze. I think my it smells coffee. good. So uh, I think it smells like your normal traditional like coffee. Good coffee. You know. So yeah. Think before you drink. Yep. I remembered. Yep. I almost said cheers for you. <laughs> That's our other show. It's like a diner coffee. And when she says diner coffee, she I doesn't like mean that as coffee. a negatory. Yeah. Um, like one of our favorite local places, Magpies, is what we would call diner coffee, and their mm. coffee is fantastic. It's really smooth. If you don't like a really heavy, um, like I said, like roasted flavor, this is really good. It's got a really nice, like, smooth, like, finish, I feel like. It's very earthy. Earthy. Yeah, it's got a very earthy, like. Earthy. Mm -hmm. like, it, like, it's been very, like, there's minimal, like, it's untouched. Like, it's not been, like, heavily processed or filtered, which I know that's what it says in the thing, and maybe that's what my yeah. brain is telling me to think. 
but that's what I'm getting out of it. It doesn't have quite like the slipperiest like feel in the mouth, I know exactly you know. What you mean. Yeah, oily. but it, oily. But um, it's you know, it's smooth. It's it's yeah. It's like farm to table coffee, if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, but you know, you think about like farm to table, like yeah, they just... go out, you find the cow, you pluck it, you you squeeze it, you make your cow things, and then. And that's that's there's nothing in between, and that's kind of what this feels like. Like they went out, they picked this the, a, the yeah. beans, roasted them, toasted them. This is a great coffee for people who and um, there you go. like just like a like a mid range yeah. medium, like nothing's punching you in the face. It's not too light for me. Um, yeah, I love and it. That you can drink black. I could drink this happy. all day. Black. Yes, it's a it's a happy black. Coffee. Yes, if you are trying to switch from drinking like creamers and stuff like that, and you want to like. Go to something that's like smooth and light. This would be this would be a uh, spot on, mm. but it doesn't look light. You know, it's it's still like your regular like coffee like color. So when you see this, Raul, you'll have to put in the comments. Mm. I know Posh is not a fan of coffee, this but you'll have to put in the comments: Is this the one that you drink regularly, or just one that you found that you've heard good things about? Because now I'm curious. Yeah, because I don't remember. But because if you if you're not drinking this regularly, like you it. should. I it's think it's tasty. delightful. Yeah, I want to drink this so, every day. We just need to move to New Zealand or Australia. I was going to say, we don't have enough to drink it. We got enough to drink like two more pots maybe. And yeah. Maybe three. So on a scale of one to ten zombies. We haven't done that in a while. Mm. What would you give it? Oh, my first? Oh, yeah, I'm usually first, honey. Um, I think it's about a seven. Yeah, I'm going to do eight. I like it. This is, this would be a, a coffee that I would prefer to drink every day. Wow. That's high. Yeah. Awesome. That makes her a happy wife, and I'm a happy husband. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you want to find more of our content, you can always look us up on the YouTubes, but you can also go to thenewlydeads.com for all of your spooky needs. Um, we've got several different things on there. I think you already kind of talked about it before, maybe. If not, um, yeah, we've got a, a blog. Um, we've got a, a show that we do that's on, um, hopefully going to be on several different, uh, networks. locations, networks. Yeah. <laughs> Things are happening. Things are Things happening. Are happening. We're, we're in the, we're in the talks. Yep. Um, and, uh, yeah, we do uh, a podcast also from that TV show. Mm -hmm. Um, both him and I also create art. So sometimes we're at a different events. Eventually, we're going to get some of our stuff up there so we can, like, sell it maybe. I'm not sure. We keep talking, but we haven't done it yet. Yeah. We're trying to figure it out. Yeah. So. And um, just uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, reach out to us at contact at thenewlydeads.com. Yep. And uh, we will be happy to provide you with A1 customer service. Yeah, if you've got a coffee that you want us to review, just oh, hit yeah. us up. Yeah. Or send it. And send it thank away. you so yeah. much. <laughs> To the Mad Bloods. Yes, thank you guys. Yeah, for pro for providing this uh, for us, we appreciate you so much, and hopefully someday we'll be able to have a cup of coffee in person with you. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much, Bajan. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. We belong. Yeah.